you curious about the camera gear that I own to make my vlogs? Well, if you are, stay tuned. Yeah, I think I need to redo that intro. Yo, it's our Conception. Welcome to Gear For You, a segment on the channel that talks about camera gear and reviews camera gear so you can find out if it's a gear for you. So if camera gear reviews, camera gear unboxings, behind the scenes, as well as shooting tutorials sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload those type of videos. I've been vlogging for a year right now, and I've accumulated gear throughout that whole year to try and make my vlogs look and sound more better. And so these are the gear I vlog with for this 2018. Okay, first and foremost, you're gonna need a main camera. And the main camera that I use is my Canon SL1. I've had this camera for about four years already and I only started to use it for vlogging last year. The Canon SL1 is the smallest and lightest camera in the Canon system. However, just last year, I decided to beef it up. So I added my Sigma 17-50 f 2.8 lens and I think a power extra battery grip to house two batteries inside for extended shooting time. And so you may be wondering, why would you make the smallest and lightest camera bigger and heavier? Well, for me, a semi-heavier setup allows for better stability when you're shooting. Speaking of stability, I use this Yunting Pixie Mini tripod as an extension of my arm, as well as to set down my camera when I want to do establishing shots. And to connect these two, I bought a quick release plate so I can connect and vlog, disconnect and take pictures. So that is super helpful when I really want to take pictures or vlog. Now the number one thing I strive for in my vlogs is smooth cinematics. And that is what this is for. This is the Zion Smooth Q, which I use my iPhone as the camera. And so for all the cinematics that you see in my vlogs, this is what I use. I use this for the tracking shots, I use this for the dolly in, dolly out, I use this for the parallax shots, I use this for the time lapse end screens in my vlogs. The last and final thing that I use for the vlogs, and I just bought this recently, is this level year microphone, which I'm using right now. For a long time in my vlogging life, I've had bad audio. And up to the time where I had an actual shotgun microphone, the microphone broke when it dropped. You can see that in this vlog right here. And I only started to recently use this microphone, which helps so much because what you want for good sound is to have the microphone as close to the mouth as possible. If you haven't seen any of my vlogs, I will link the playlist up here. I think I have about like 50, 56 vlogs so far. So you can check those out. You can check the evolution of how my vlogs look like and how they sound like. And I'm pretty sure they've improved. So all of the camera that I just mentioned will be linked down below. You can go check them out and hopefully you can decide if the camera gear that I use could possibly help you in your vlogging or YouTube videos. So that is the end of this gear for you video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, hit the like button and also comment down below which piece of gear that I've mentioned in this video would you consider buying for your YouTube videos. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notification for more gear for you videos to come. Me and my vlogging gear are out. Behind it and a few pockets of low pressure and fairly heavy.